your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather seven decades for her that is just phenomenal such a long time it is and i i was reading a statistic and i i think i'm gonna have it right when i say it is that i saw that nine tenth of the population have seen her be the queen that's wild. That's insane when you think about it. That is wild. Well, did you have to go out today for your story? Or were you out today at all? I was. It was more towards the evening. Okay. So, but it was gloomy. It was. It was really <laughs> dark. And it's been a little gloomy the last couple of days. Yeah, but <laughs> it's like uh, most of our viewers will know that I do like gloomy days better than sunny. Really? Yes. <laughs> I, I am weird like that, but it does look like we will see some sort of sunshine tomorrow. Uh, so here's hoping that that does come to fruition. Let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics. I want to show you guys that uh, our high temperature today was 75 in Huntsville. But I want to point out our average high temperature for this time of year. We're typically in the upper 80s, so we were uh, well under uh, 10 degrees of this average high of 88. Another thing I want to point out, though, is our sunset for today. It is the last 7 o'clock sunset that we will see this year. So tomorrow's sunset will occur at 6 59, but I am here for it. I love when it gets darker earlier, so we will be losing daylight throughout the next six weeks. Well, really throughout the rest of this year, but notice in two weeks, our sunset time is 638, but by the time we get six weeks from tomorrow, 601. So we're going to be near a five o'clock sunset by the time we get to October 23rd. Today we saw mostly dry conditions in the Tennessee Valley, but like Sedona was mentioned earlier, it was very gloomy. We saw mostly clouds thanks to a low pressure system off to our west in Mississippi. That's what's kind of keeping things gloomy for the time being, but this will all move out of our area once we get into Monday. For the overnight, low temperature is expected to hang out in the upper 60s. We will continue to see a mostly cloudy sky. That's how we'll wake up for your Sunday morning. Notice rain chances will really start to increase heading into the afternoon. We'll be at 78 right at noon. I've got a 60% chance of rain. And that will continue into the 3 o'clock hour where high temperatures are expected to top out in the lower 80s. So it will be a little warmer than what we saw today. So let's go ahead and talk about it on our future cast here 6 a.m. early tomorrow morning. A few isolated showers could be out there, but really things will start to fire up once we head into the afternoon. So here's noon. Some of us will be right around 80 degrees. Some of us still going to be hanging out in the upper 70s by then, but rain chances will continue into the 3 o'clock hour, into your 7 o'clock hour, and a few isolated showers and storms could still be a problem heading into your late Sunday night, early Monday morning. But rain chance is really going to start to decrease uh, throughout the overnight Sunday into early Monday morning, and we're not expected to see rain on Monday or on Tuesday thanks to that cold front that's going to be moving through. It is a dry front. But what it will be bringing us is some drier weather. So notice we will see a drier atmosphere. Dew points going to drop into the lower 60s. So we'll actually be feeling pretty comfortable out there. Your seven day forecast looks like this 83 once again for the afternoon high tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms throughout the day. So make sure you have your umbrella handy. But by Monday, it looks like you could ditch it for the next a few days or so. 77 are expected high temperature on Monday. Notice this though on Tuesday, we're going to be waking up to the mid 50s thanks to that cold front. 83 will be our high temperature gradually going to warm back up into the upper 80s by Thursday. But it looks like heading into this time next week, we'll continue to see mostly sunshine and high temperatures still going to be hanging out in the upper 80s.